this video tutorial I will explain Spring JMS with uh, ActiveMQ example using uh, annotation configuration. Here you can see client 1 which is a message producer which will create the message and uh, sends the message to the queue. Here you can see client 2 which is a message consumer which will consume message from the queue and acknowledges back to the queue. In this example, we will use uh, queue of uh, ActiveMQ. Here you can see pom.xml. Here I have defined the dependencies of Spring JMS and ActiveMQ Spring. Here I have defined the class uh, messaging configuration. It is a configuration class. Spring container read this uh, configuration class and it creates a connection factory object. To create a connection factory object, Spring container needs to know ActiveMQ broker URL. Here I have defined the URL. Once a connection factory object is created, Spring container creates a JMS template object. To create a JMS template object, Spring container needs connection factory object and the message queue. And here I have defined the message queue. Then Spring container creates a message converter. Here I have defined the class app config, which is the main configuration class. Spring container read this configuration class and it makes sure all the dependent objects are created and auto wired properly. JMS template provides an abstraction which hides all the complexities of JMS communication. JMS template will take care of uh, creating the connection, creating the session, creating message producers, creating message consumers, etc. And uh, using JMS template, we can uh, send the message to the queue. And uh, also, we can use uh, JMS template to receive message from the queue. Here you can see message sender class and it has a send message method. This method is responsible for sending message to the queue. Here I have defined the class message receiver and it has a receive message method. This method is responsible for receiving message from the queue. And here you can see message converter. It is used to convert Java object to JMS message and JMS message to Java object. Here you can see ActiveMQ console and here you can see queue is empty. Here I have defined a class message producer app. Here I have created context object. Using context object, I am getting message sender object from Spring container. Then I am calling send message method of message sender object to send the message to the queue. Here you can see message queue is created in that uh, one message is there. The message is uh, Hi Peter, how are you?
here I have defined a class uh, message consumer app. Here I have created a context object by reading a spring configuration class. Using a getbean method of a context object, I am getting a message receiver object from a spring container. Then I am calling a receive message method of a message receiver object to receive message from the queue. And once I got the response, I am printing here. And here you can see, after a message has been received, number of uh, pending messages went from 1 to 0. And messages dequeued is 1. And uh, like this, we can send uh, multiple messages to the queue. And we can receive uh, multiple messages from the queue. Now two messages are in the queue. If you want to purge the messages, then uh, click on this and it becomes uh, zero. And if you want to delete the queue, click on this. The queue has been deleted. You can get uh, Java source code link for uh, each video in the description section of the video. Here you can see the description section. Click on uh, show more. And uh, here you can see the Java source code links. Click on uh, these links to get the Java source code. You can get uh, Java source code link from the description of the video. In mobile, to see the description, click on uh, this icon. It will expand like this and uh, here you can see the description. It contains uh, Java source code links. Click on these links to get the Java source code. 